lovelies, I hope you're all well. So, Cricut have announced their Christmas Craft Along, which is going to be every Friday. Now, it's being run by, I believe, Cricut Europe, because I haven't seen uh, anything on Cricut, the official site. But it's your chance to win some amazing prizes every single week. Now, every week we'll have a theme, and this week's theme is tags. I'm not going to enter, but what I am going to do is every week I'm going to do a video giving you some inspiration for that week's theme so that you can get some ideas and you can then enter. You can enter on social media, so Facebook and Instagram and I believe Twitter as well, but it's definitely worth going on the Instagram page and the Facebook page of Cricket Europe for more information. So this week, as I say, is tag, so we're going to look at some inspiration for those and hopefully you can enter and you can win some lovely prizes. So as I said this week's theme is Christmas tags so I'm going to show you three Christmas tags. I'm going to do one using cardstock and felt, I'm going to use another using wood and some decoupage paper and also some vinyl, may even use some glitter and some paint and then I'm going to make a 3D tag as well. So this one I'm going to make out of basswood, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a shape, I'm just going to grab a circle, and then I'm going to grab a, another circle, and then I'm just going to duplicate that circle and make it slightly smaller, and again I'm going to duplicate this circle and make it slightly smaller. I'm going to bring this one into here and I'm just going to highlight both, align and center. I'm not going to do anything with it just yet. I'm just going to hide it. I'm going to bring this bigger one over and I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to align and I'm going to center horizontally. I'm then going to bring this one in and again I'm just going to highlight the two of those and I'm going to align and center. I'm then going to hide this little one and I'm going to weld these two together. I'm going to bring back my middle circle here, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to slice. I'm then going to bring back the little circle and again I'm going to highlight and slice. That's then going to give me my basic bauble shape. Now I'm then going to duplicate that and I'm just going to grab a circle and then I'm just going to weld it so that we've got a solid one. I'm then going to go to images. I've just searched for snowflake today. I'm just going to pick this one and insert images. I'm going to bring it over to my circle and I'm just going to place it so that it overlaps my outline slightly. And then once I'm happy I'm going to highlight and weld. I'm then going to sit it on top of my solid piece. This side I'm going to decoupage and then the other side of it I'm going to have some vinyl. So the font is just Christmas Day and you'll see that I'm just going to cut it out in vinyl and then just transfer it onto the back of my wooden shape. For my next one, again, I'm just going to go to images. I've just typed in tag and I'm going to choose this one and insert. I've turned it the other way around so it's going to be long ways. Now I am going to use an uploaded image for my Christmas tree. And my Christmas tree I'm actually going to cut out in felt. So I've got two stars here, so I'm just going to bring the smaller one into the bigger one. I'm just going to highlight, align and center, and then I'm going to slice. So with my smaller one, I'm then going to bring it up to my tag. I'm going to sit it over the hole that's been made, and I'm just going to slice out my star. I'm then going to cut this star out in cardstock and it's going to sit around my cutout star. I want to duplicate my tag, so this front part of my tag will be cut out in a red glittery cardstock and I'm going to stick it onto the front of my white cardstock which I'm going to cut out. 
and then the back of it I'm going to have some text. Now I'm going to use an embossing pen today and I'm also going to use some embossing powder and I'm just going to grab some text. Now to change my text to writing I'm going to just remove that. I'm going to go to Cricut fonts. I'm going to filter and I'm going to choose writing and this will then give me the writing fonts. So when they write, if they are single lined like these are, then they will write like that. With other fonts, they will write with two lines. So this text I've used Alphalicious. For my bottom text I've used Alphalicious. And then for my Merry Christmas I've used Cake Basics. Once I'm happy I'm going to highlight and I'm going to attach it all together. So it will cut out my tag and it will write using my embossing pen and then we'll be able to use our embossing powder. For my final tag I am doing a 3D tag so you can see that I've created a star here. I've added some tabs in and then I've added all my score lines. This is going to be the back which will just be in some cardstock. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm then going to cover that cardstock in some patterned Christmas paper. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to make the star slightly smaller. I'm going to change the colour to white and I'm going to use some sticker paper. I'm going to grab my text, I'm going to change it, I'm just going to change the filter, so I'm going to clear the filter, I'm just going to go to all fonts. Again I've used the font Christmas Day and you can see that I've got it all how I want it. I'm just going to change the colour to red and then I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to flatten. So it will print my text and then it will cut out my star. I can then bring everything back and we're going to go to make it. So you can see I've got a print and cut layer, I've got a draw and cut layer. This is going to be my basswood. This is my vinyl. I've got some cardstock. I think I'm going to do it in glitter cardstock. This is going to be glitter cardstock. This is going to be cricket felt. And this is going to be patterned Christmas paper. So we can then go to continue and I can start cutting out all my materials. So we're going to start with our 3D tag first. So you can see that I've cut this out using Cricut foil poster board and I've already folded on my score lines. I've got my print and cut, I've got my white cardstock and I've got my patterned cardstock as well. The first thing I'm going to do is add some art glitter glue to the back of my patterned cardstock. And I'm then going to glue it onto my white cardstock backing. Once it's dry, I can then peel back my printed sticker paper and I can then add that to my cardstock. I'm then going to take my 3D foil poster board star. I'm going to add glue onto the tabs. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. And you also want to make sure that you add your twine in as well so that you can hang it. So for my next tag, I've got my red sparkle paper, my Cricut red sparkle paper. I've got my embossed 
white card. I've got my green Cricut felt cut out. And I've also got some gold card stock cut out as well. And I will link to tutorials on how you can emboss and, and cut out felt and all of that in the description below. I'm going to start gluing everything using my art glitter glue. And I'm going to use fabric Mod Podge to add my felt tree to my tag. And then I'm going to glue some buttons onto my tree as well. And for my final tag, you can see I've got my wood, I've got my cut out decoupage paper, I've got my vinyl which I've weeded, and I've got some deco patch glue as well. So I'm going to coat my wooden ornament in some decoupage glue and then I'm going to add my decoupage paper on top. I'm then going to cover my paper in the glue again to give it a nice gloss. I'm then going to get some Mod Podge and I'm going to cover my top part of my tag in Mod Podge and I'm then going to add some glitter. Once the glitter is dry I'm going to add another layer of Mod Podge and another layer of glitter. Once that has dried I'm then going to go in with some decoupage varnish and this will allow me to seal the glitter onto my wood but it won't take away the dull of the glitter. You will want a quite light coat of this and again I will link to a tutorial below that will show you how you can do this with items such as glasses. <music> And then finally I'm going to add some art glitter glue to the back of my glittered front part of my tag. I'm going to attach it to the part that was decoupaged so that you'll have the front glittered and then the back will obviously have the vinyl on it. Hopefully this has given you some great ideas for this week's competition. Make sure that you go on to Facebook and Instagram to find out how you can enter. Find out a bit more about the weekly competition and also the prizes up for grabs as well. As I say, I will be doing inspiration videos every week depending on the theme. As always, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all again soon.